Oh, you're not allowed in, George. Hey, everybody, it's Jack and Dan. What do we got today, man? We got this uh, door lock here. What's the name of that company? Bebasia, I think. Bebasia? Bebasia, something like that. Yeah, it's a pretty creative name. Well, it's cool. This company reached out to us because they said, hey, we want to help you in your security stuff you got going on over there at your house, right? Yeah. And we do have a garage door that hooks up to our workroom here through our garage. It doesn't even have a lock on it. No, no. And we thought, either. maybe this is a good idea. Sometimes we leave our garage door open, and this would be kind of a cool thing. This one is really kind of fancy in the fact that it has a thumb imprint opener. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's kind of mm -hmm. like 007 type of stuff, James Bond kind of stuff, yeah, right? Like Kingsman. Mm -hmm. Kingsman stuff. Special. And it even has a some kind of gateway thing you can hook up to Alexa. We don't have Alexa or anything like that, but I, I think you can hook it up to your... Machines. I don't yeah. <laughs> Cyberdyne. <laughs> Skynet, right? Yeah. But but I think you can hook it up to an app and do the app on your phone. So that's kind of cool. We're going to try that out. We're going to do an unboxing of this. The only thing is, is we don't have Q like James Bond does. We just have an instruction manual. So we're going to open this whole thing up. It has a thumbprint. I think all three of us can put our thumbprint on it. It also has a number code and a key. It's got all three ways of access and the keyless. So let's open this baby up. Let's see what's going on over here. All right, first thing we've got to do is just take this old handle off. It's probably been on this door ever since this house was built. Let's go ahead, dude, get to work. All right, well, he's doing that. I'm gonna check this out. Do a little unboxing. Babasia. Oh, cool, it comes with stuff. So what you do is you put this on the door, kind of line everything up. So that's kind of cool. That's nice. All right, let's see what this guy looks like in here. Ooh, fancy smancy. So this is normally about 200 bucks, guys, this kit. And apparently it is on sale for like 35% off, which is why they sent us this, uh, 129 or something on Amazon. So spare accessory, nice. This would be the inside handle, I believe. Really nice, really nice. So apparently, oh, you can also hit private and you can just completely lock the whole thing down. That's kind of neat. Kind of like a hotel room thing. Here is the sensor. Apparently it uses four AA batteries. There's where the thumbprint thing goes. Isn't that cool? Boing. Pretty sleek looking. It's like a silver and black. We thought about putting this on our front door. The thing is, is we don't ever use our front door. Like ever. Never. <laughs> it's dead bolted. It's steel. We never use it. It's kind of like a fortress up there. Um, the other door on the garage also is steel and um basically we don't really use it either we just come in through the garage door and then come in through this this is a pretty good door but again it just has a regular old handle on it i think at one time it had some sort of lock it wasn't obviously a very big lock or a deadbolt it was just a regular lock and i think um i don't even know what happened we lost the key or something and we just took it out with a regular handle on a long time ago i totally forgot about that when we were talking about this so let's take this stuff all out and uh, we're gonna take a look at all this and see what it's all about. Apparently it also has like a key and then you would actually put the key in there. So you could keep like a key in your car or something like that. And then that magnet goes right back on there. Isn't that cool? That's pretty, pretty neat. So that way if your batteries died or whatever, you'd still have a way in. Or you could just change them like every year with your smoke alarm or whatever. Make sure that don't happen, right? Okay, so the way this works is if you had a deadbolt, you have to actually take both of them out because one goes through the top, one goes through the bottom. We did not, but we're going to have to drill, I think, a small hole because this one has to go through there. So we're just going to have to drill a small hole. That's probably what the drill bit's for. So that seems pretty cool. Um, the other thing is, this is pretty neat, guys. This thing holds up to 120 different fingerprints capacity so that's kind of neat so you're never going to need that many 200 cards 150 different passwords this is pretty cool man all right so jack just put the batteries in there four double a's they do not come with it little case thing now the inside pops off just like this so here's the other thing we noticed you we have to change the handles around so we want this is going to hang on the door like this we want the handle just like they're showing here to be in toward the door so we're going to take these two screws off. We're going to flip this handle around. 
All right, so that was easy. Took those two little screws out. This thing basically just flips around, goes right on the other side, put those two screws in. I did the outside one, Jack's doing the inside one. Super easy. Okay, so we have a thinner door, so we're gonna set this one aside. Uh, we open this one. Jack's gonna put the peg in there, so that peg goes in there and has a little pinhole in it. See how the pinhole aligns there? And then take that little pin and you're gonna push it in there, kinda like a cotter pin, and that's gonna hold it in place. And then we're gonna put this on the outside of the door. Obviously bend your cotter pin. All right, so the way that this diagram works is if you're coming on a door that's brand new, this obviously is already cut here and of course over here. So we're just gonna drill this hole here because we don't have a dead a deadbolt. So we're just gonna, we just taped it on there, lined it up. Pretty simple, we're gonna drill that hole right there now. Okay, so we got that on, got this started over here with these guys. That's the hardest part, guys, of doing any kind of door thing is lining all that up. Yeah, it does a really painstaking <laughs> process. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. This is kind of tight against there. We might have to open that up and drill a little bit, but that screw might fit through, we'll see. Let's go ahead and get the uh, back plate on here. Okay, before we can do that, we have to actually take the face plate off. So there's a screw on the bottom, two screws on the top. Just gonna take those out. And then we're gonna take that off and then that plate underneath is gonna secure to the back. Okay guys, so basically this, these holes line up and those screws right there, we're gonna put in those three holes just like the other one. And the whole thing's gonna be sealed. It can be a little annoying to line them up, but we'll figure it out and get them in there. All right, they weren't that hard to line up. They lined right up. And Jake's kind of putting them all in here. And the next thing we're gonna do is put the faceplate on there. Obviously, this little cord, this little plug-in from the sensor goes to the inside, so don't forget to bring that through. And it's looking pretty, looking pretty sweet. This is why we turn the handle on the other side, guys, because this is the way the door was. The other thing we've got to show you, just in the middle of doing this here, you can actually turn this if you want you could just make it silver, like stainless looking nickel or whatever. Probably gonna leave it black because I kind of like how it matches, you know, the keypad. All right, so we did put a new one of these on. The old one was really kind of rigid. They do provide you with one. It pushed on there really easily. It's nice and flat, seems to be working well. Now back over here to this door, obviously you're gonna plug the front plate into the back plate. Ooh, did you hear that? Made a little noise. Just went, really? <laughs> Ooh, there you go. So this stuff all, obviously you don't wanna pinch it or anything. So you're gonna kinda try to put it around the handle. Come on over here so you can kinda see. Well, look from that side. So just kinda working it around the outside. And then you're gonna put that piston there into there. And you're gonna put that on. Okay, now Jack's gonna go ahead and screw these guys in, and we're gonna see how this whole thing's working. Let's close it and open it here, see how it's working. All right, cool. Seems very solid, doesn't it? Yes. So now we gotta figure out the fancy pantsy part with the thumb imprint and all that. Wasn't there just a movie we just saw where the guy Who's had a- Batman. The Batman. And the Riddler cut off the guy, the mayor's finger. Yes. And they had to use it to hey, no, like... not too many spoilers, man. Somebody I might not have seen it yet. Seen it. No, <laughs> maybe not. If you didn't see it yet, anyway. Well, that's not the first movie. No. They've done that in other movies too, he right? Just uses it to unlock. So something. hopefully, no one cuts off our thumbs, breaks in our house. Yeah. You know, that's the only thing. Unauthorized Dude, you're unauthorized. Oh, shucks. All right, guys, so real quick, all you do is download the app. It's free, very, very easy to do. And then you do everything through the app. You can hit this, this paired within seconds. You hit this, you can see unlocked. it unlocks. And then what'll happen is it'll lock again. So it unlocks, so you can open it, and then it automatically locks right away. Now there's settings and everything that you can go through on this. You can see the settings, you can change all this stuff. Again, you know, I'm not exactly, uh, <laughs> you know, super, super swifty with this stuff, but I'm learning to use these apps and things. And Jack, of course, helps me, don't you, kiddo? Yep. So we're going to just, we're prop, there are three cards that come with it. We're going to program the cards. So we each have a card. And then we're going to program a passcode. 
and then we're gonna program our fingerprints. So you can either just come up and use your fingerprint or you can use the app or you can use the key fobs. Let me show you those real quick, they're right here. It comes with three of these. So it's basically just a fob that you hold up to the door and there's three of these. And they pretty much seem like they're indestructible. They're like thick plastic. Okay, so the key fobs are pretty easy. You just hold it up to it when you're running the app and it connects to it. You just hold it up to the phone and you just kind of swipe it and it just unlocks. And again, it locks a few seconds later. So if you're, you know, if you keep this in your purse or on your car keys or something or in your car or whatever, you just swipe it and it lets you right in. If you're still like a key person and you want to do that. So there's, and, and again, locks it right away. So it closes right behind you. Pretty, pretty neat. Okay, so we're figuring out the fingerprints now. The key fobs were easy. Um, the passcode was easy. I mean, it's all right here on the app, it's super cool. Um, so basically you put in the name, you hit next, and you hit start, and it's gonna tell him to put his fingerprint on there. So go ahead and put the fingerprint on there. So you take it off, put it back on. Oh, it's gonna fill out the whole, oh, right. Wait, 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 slowly. <laughs> You keep, it has to, okay, there you it has go. To fill out the lining. Okay. Right, so go ahead and hold this real quick so you can see how mine works. So if I put my thumb up to it, it just unlocks. Okay, do yours now and it should work. Isn't that cool? Sweet. That's some cool, cool James Bond stuff right there. We gotta go get Pamela's now. George thinks it's cool, don't you, buddy? All right, now Pamela's gonna put her thumb on it. She did hers too, so go ahead and put your thumb on it. What I wanna do is I wanna show you, if you try to turn this right now and it's locked, see how it turns and the thing doesn't move? Yeah. All right, go ahead and put your thumb on there. Okay, turn it. See how it works? Mm -hmm. Now let go for a minute. Now try to turn it again. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So it locks after a few seconds. Isn't that cool, George? All right, real world scenario. Let's say we just got out of cars. We're coming in the garage. Here we go. Got groceries in my hands. Stick your thumb up there with your other hand. Bam-o, and you open it. There you go, man, pretty cool. Yep. That's the other thing is we, Jack wanna do his right hand. We did our left hands so that in case we're carrying something on our right hand, he wanna do his left hand though. Pretty cool. So, I mean, I think it's a really neat thing. 120 bucks on sale right now, 129 bucks right now. Um, you can open it any way. I'm not a key guy. I don't carry keys. Yeah. So I like that. I basically have the key fob to my car, and it's the only thing I ever have on me, ever. Because I got spoiled by, like, having the garage. But, again, that's, you know, so you got the remote in the car. But, anyway, I think it's pretty awesome. And it's it's definitely heavy duty. I think it's neat how the thing doesn't turn. It's also neat that you can kind of flip this out and do the key if you really have to. So I'm going to keep a key. I don't know where I'm going to keep a key. I might not keep it because, honestly, my office is in here in the front, and this thing will probably beep and give you a notification that the batteries are low, um, and I'll just change the batteries, you know, or, or I'll just change them, you know, every six months or every year or test them with the uh, smoke alarms and stuff. All right, so Babesia, pretty cool. Still don't know if I'm saying that right. But anyway, they did also send us this whole gateway thing. Honestly, this is, like, far enough advanced for us we don't want to go this far. They sent this to this. They sent this part to us later on, saying that this was a thing that they had added. Again, if you want to get something like this, you can pay extra for it and get it. We don't have the whole Siri thing hooked up to the house and all that. Some people do. This is like a remote. It is on the app. I don't. I don't really know what that's all about because you could just open it through the app too. You could just hit unlock on the app as well if you have that open. There's so many ways to open it, um, but it seems really good. So anyway, thanks guys. Babesia, Babazia, however, however you're supposed to say it. Um, thanks a lot. <clears throat> we'll put links in the description for all this. Again, thanks for sending this. It's just not something that we're going to utilize. Not something that we're interested in. It's advanced enough. What do you think of the whole thing? I think it's pretty neat. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty bougie. I think it's nice. It's yeah, fancy. it's cool. It is nice because we're not key guys. You know, if we we go take a bike ride, we can just come home. Bam, hit it with our finger. You know what I mean? Yeah. That is pretty cool. I do like it. Thanks for sending it. We'll put links in the description. Check out the sale if you're interested. Of course, they make other models and things like that too. We'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy.